roles in life are supposed to line up with our bodies, brethren. Our roles in life are supposed to line up with our bodies. You've heard me say many times what we have in many families today is two men. Okay, that the women uh, are, are of this generation are largely rejecting the female role. They're, many are biologically having children, uh, but they're going out and, and and behaving like men in the world, but turning the children over to nannies if they have nannies for them in the world. So in this movie, which took place in the 60s, okay, this was a, the story of a family uh, that came, a Puerto Rican family that moved to New York. And um, they were a traditional family. The father worked, the mother, the mother lived for the children. But the, I'm not telling anybody what to do. I'm telling you what was, what's happened to the culture. The children are being sacrificed on the altar of careers for the women. I'm not telling you not to have a career. You have to go before God and find out what he has for you. And maybe you can have a career and still be a mother. Maybe you, you, there are people that just need their consciousness raised. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to raise your consciousness by telling you, have a career, but don't forget that you're a mother, that you're a woman. And women have different potentials than men. Women have emotional potentials that most men don't have and that they don't want to have because those emotional potentials would destroy their manhood. The traditional role of mother is that she lives for the children and the family. She is the, the stay, the foundation of the family whole family revolves around her and she saved this boy's life. Both the mother and the father loved him, were heartbroken to see that he had become a heroin addict. But it was his mother, it was his mother that would not give up on her son, that prayed, that believed the pastor, that believed God. The father was stoically silent and sad, but it was that mother, that mother's love, that softness, that female softness, that it's really hard to find today, that would not give up on that boy. And she would not let go of God until he saved him. That is the female role in culture Can you have a career and, and still fulfill that role? I don't know. I'm just telling you the way God set it up. The man's primary goal is providing. His worry is getting a job and providing for the family. The mother worries for the children. That's the traditional role. Where are all the mothers? Where are the mothers? So ladies, if you work and you have a career, I hope that I've raised your consciousness. Don't forget that your biological role is to be the nurturer. Don't become a man. Have a career, but don't become a man. Your children need you. Even your adult children need you. Even your married children need you. Do you know that your married children need you? Just because they're married doesn't mean that they have all of the wisdom of all of the experience that you have learned over the years. Your married children need you. Your grandchildren need you. And they need you in a way that the males in the family cannot, cannot meet those needs. The women are capable of meeting those needs if they decide to be women. You wonder if you can be a male at work and be a woman at home, well, praise the Lord. So I'm trying to raise your consciousness of what, what the tendency is to happen to women that have a career. Don't let it happen to you. I'm not telling you not to work. I'm reminding you of your God-given role in your life, in your family, 
to your husband? A woman supports a man in a different way than a man supports a woman. So, dead silence. Okay. Okay, ready. Seek God. Men, if there are males out here listening to me that are not fulfilling the male biological role, if you're letting your wife support you, if you're letting your wife rule the family, if you're letting your wife rule you, you need to seek God. And you need to have a conversation and a dialogue with your wife about fulfilling biological and natural roles through Jesus Christ in your family. The Lord wants to save this country. He wants to save the church. He wants to save humanity. He wants to save the world. And that's where it starts, with the individual fulfilling their proper role in the family. That's where it starts. So I've just told you the truth. I hope you're not mad at me. In Jesus' name.